young explorers. I'm Miss Candy, your astronaut teacher. Today, we're going to embark on an incredible adventure to learn about the amazing planets in our solar system. Can you tell me how many planets are in our solar system? Ah, that's what we used to think. But did you know that scientists recently made some exciting discoveries? Now, we know there are eight main planets, so let's study all of them together. Our first stop is Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. It's a scorching hot world during the day, hot enough to melt lead. But at night, it's bone chillingly cold. Mercury is like a baking oven during the day and a deep freeze at night. Its surface is covered in craters from countless asteroid impacts. Mercury's extreme temperature swings make it a challenging place to visit, but it's an important world for scientists to study. Now let's explore Venus. Venus, often called Earth's sister planet. It's the hottest planet in our solar system due to its thick, cloudy atmosphere. Yes, Venus is like a super hot oven. Its thick clouds trap heat, creating a scorching hot surface. Despite its harsh conditions, Venus has been studied by spacecraft, and scientists continue to learn more about this extreme world. Now, let's turn our attention to our very own planet, Earth. Earth is unique because it's the only planet in our solar system known to support life. Earth is a diverse and beautiful world with vast oceans, lush forests, and a variety of animals. It has the perfect conditions for life, including a breathable atmosphere and a moderate climate. We are incredibly lucky to call Earth our home, and it's our responsibility to take good care of it. Remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle to help protect our precious planet. Our next stop is Mars. Mars, often called the Red Planet. It's famous for its rusty red color and vast, dusty landscapes. Mars is often called the Red Planet because of its distinctive color. It's a cold, desert-like world with a thin atmosphere. Scientists are fascinated by its potential for past or present life. Mars is a popular destination for future space missions, and scientists are actively exploring the possibility of sending humans there someday. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are not just neighbors by the nearest star, but also compact balls of rocks and metals. They are planets called rocky or terrestrial. Next, we have Jupiter, the king of planets. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and it's so massive that it could fit more than a thousand Earths inside. Jupiter is a gas giant, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. It's known for its striking bands of clouds, including the Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has been raging for centuries. Jupiter also has a fascinating family of moons, with over 80 discovered so far. One of its moons, Ganymede, is the largest moon in our solar system, even larger than the planet Mercury. And here's Saturn, the ringed wonder! Saturn is famous for its stunning rings, which are made of ice and rocks. These rings twirl around the planet like a beautiful hula hoop. Saturn's rings are a real showstopper in our solar system. They're made up of countless tiny ice particles and come in many different shapes and sizes. Saturn also boasts a collection of intriguing moons, such as Titan, which has a thick atmosphere and lakes of liquid methane and ethane on its surface. Nice to meet you both. Hey, is it getting very cold? Ah, uh, yes, because we're now near the coldest planet out here. Now, let's meet Uranus. Uranus is unique because it's tipped over on its side, rolling through space like a cosmic somersault. Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system, even colder than Neptune. 
It's often called an ice giant because it's mostly composed of icy materials. Its atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, helium, and traces of methane, which gives it a bluish green color. Uranus has a set of thin, faint rings and 27 known moons. It's a mysterious and distant world that continues to captivate scientists and astronomers. And now, our last stop is Neptune, the windy giant. Neptune is known for its intense winds and stunning deep blue color. Neptune is the eighth and farthest planet from the sun. It's a frigid and windy world with the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching up to 1,200 miles per hour. Neptune's atmosphere is mostly made up of hydrogen, helium, and traces of methane, which give it its vibrant blue hue. Like Uranus, Neptune also has a set of faint rings and a diverse family of moons, including Triton, which is the largest and one of the most interesting. Nice to meet you, Neptune. And now, let's pay a visit to Pluto, the dwarf planet at the edge of our solar system. Pluto was once considered the ninth planet, but it's now classified as a dwarf planet. Pluto is a small, icy world located in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune filled with icy objects. It's much smaller than Earth's moon and has a surface covered in ice and frozen gases. Pluto's status may have changed, but it still holds a special place in our hearts as a unique and distant member of our cosmic family. And that, my fellow space enthusiasts, wraps up our incredible journey through the solar system. Each planet is unique and has its own special characteristics. Remember, Earth is our home, and it's the only planet we know that supports life. Keep looking up at the night sky, and who knows what else we might discover in the vast universe. Thank you for joining me on this fantastic solar adventure. Now it's time for a little quiz. Which planet is known as the red planet? A, Jupiter, B, Mars, or C, Venus? Don't forget to write your answer in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.